Hi everyone! Today I'm going to share with you a project I made for Crafters Castle Challenges, which by the way there's links below to that. And what I've made is an elegant screen fold card using ATCs from Victoria Designs, who happens to be our generous sponsor for the month, and also a matching envelope. So let's head on over to the craft table and let me show you what I've made. This is the elegant card I made, and it opens up like this. So it looks like a screen divider like you would have in a room. And it has a wonderful Paris theme. And I'm gonna tell you all about how I made that. And a little bit later, I'm going to show you how I made this gorgeous envelope to put it in. So to make this beautiful card, the first thing I did was I printed off a sheet of cardstock and it is from Victoria Designs Soft Grunge Paper Pack and you can get that at their Etsy store, but I got mine free and it was from a welcome pack from either I know subscribing to their YouTube channel or following their blog. I can't remember which because it's been a while, but you need to check it all out because they're always giving away freebies and you wouldn't want to miss out. And I then cut that piece of cardstock down to six inches by nine inches. And I scored it at three inches and six inches. And that creates this fold. And you can make this card other sizes, you can make it taller than six inches, you can make it longer, you know, as long as if you're doing three panels, you want it to be something that you can easily, you know, divide into thirds. And if you want it to be four panels, then, you know, just make it something you can divide into fourths. But uh, my tutorial on how to make this kind of card is below. So in the description box, look for the link and you'll be able to see how I made it, how I cut out the legs, and things like that. All right, so now let's get on with the rest of the card. For each of these panels, I added an ATC card, and those are also from Victoria Designs, and they are absolutely gorgeous. So let me show you how those come. This is their Paris set. And look at all those gorgeous cards that are on there. And they all come on a sheet like this, and then you just cut them out. So absolutely beautiful. And I also used the flowered frames, ATCs. Actually, it's flowers and frames, sorry. And they are just beautiful. Look, at, I've got them upside down, right side up. But they are just gorgeous. These have already been cut out. And so I used the flowers and frames ATCs for my first and third panel because it gave me room to um, stamp on there. And then in the middle, I used the Paris ATC. And I added a little butterfly there, a little dimensional butterfly with a little pearl in the middle of it. But you can do whatever you want to these ATCs, by the way, even if you don't use them for a card, I should throw this in there that you can add your own thing to it. You can add pearls and lace and glitter gel pins and liquid glass and, you know, stamped sentiments and images. You know, whatever you want to use for them as cards, um, you know, as ATCs by themselves or even when you're adding them to something like this. So they are just gorgeous and perfect for this. And then the theme this month at Crafter's Castle Challenge is distress ink techniques and I used vintage photo distress ink and you can use that along with a little sponge applicator or with a little finger dauber but I love adding distress ink to the edges of things it gives it a little dimension I don't know I just I love the look so that's one of my favorite techniques and I used it on everything I did the edges of literally everything, the edges of the cards, um, the edges of the butterfly, the edges of these butterflies. Up here, I actually had to use a Q-tip to get in there to do those. But I just think that that paper and those ATCs definitely 
go perfect with Distress Ink. <laughs> so I think this all came together perfectly. And I added some pearls up here along there. I didn't want to add too much because once you fold this up, it may end up to be too thick if you have too many things going on. So that's why there's not a lot of additional um, embellishments to this. But there you go. That is a gorgeous, elegant card. And I'm going to now show you how I made the beautiful envelope that that's going to fit into. This beautiful envelope comes from a set that is called Five Floral Envelopes. And that's exactly what you get, is five different floral envelopes. They print out looking like this. And then you cut them out, which I'm going to go do because I really don't have a space to do it right here in front of the camera. And you all know how to cut so you don't need to see me do that so I'll be right back okay here it is all cut out and ready to be scored and there's already score marks on it because I had a glitch with the camera when I was scoring it but I'm still gonna walk you through it and show you how easy it is to do so you just put it on your scoreboard with you know the flat end right up against here and it is just obvious your score lines are right there you know you're going to score it right here at the end of of this little tab and so you just go right in there and go right across and then let me see same thing over here at this end the other end of the tab because this is going to be your you know flap that folds over so again you're just going to score it straight across and the same thing for these little flaps that are going to go in. You score and you score. So what you have scored are, let me show you, right along this edge so that these flaps will fold in on each side. You've scored right across, ugh, camera lighting here, right across here so that you have your flap that folds in. And come on camera and right across here because that's going to fold up so basically you're creating a rectangle based right around the tabs on each end okay so you're creating a rectangle which is the size of your envelope and now that it's all scored we start folding on the score lines just like that. Fold right along all the score lines that you just made. Folding these little tabs in. My arm's getting in your way, sorry. Folding the tabs in. And there's your envelope. All you need to do is either use a tape runner or um, some double-sided tape. And fold it over. And here's your envelope. Is that gorgeous? And that was so easy. You just print it out, cut around it, score it, and fold it. And like I showed you, the scoring was really obvious. There aren't any score marks on here, or at least not that I've seen. But it was just self-explanatory. The very first time I did it, I didn't have any problems. And I think you're gonna see that when you do that. This set comes with five beautiful floral envelopes for you to print, cut, score, and fold together, just like I showed you. And these are just two of them. And they're absolutely gorgeous. And it's perfect for that beautiful card that I made. It's right in the envelope and it's ready to give. Aren't they awesome? I just love them. Thank you for watching today. And below in the description box, if you click on show more right down there, 
it will drop down and you will see links to the rest of the design team's videos, which I know will inspire you. And also a link to Crafter's Castle where you can enter the challenge and have a chance to win a $30 gift certificate to Victoria Designs. Yes, they are an awesome, wonderful, generous sponsor and I'm so thankful for them and you're not gonna wanna miss out. And I'm including links to their Etsy store, their blog, and their YouTube channel. So check it all out, everyone. Happy crafting, bye-bye.